Thanks for tuning in to Dirty Teeth and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I try to shop locally whenever possible. But I live in a small town, therefore niche bike stuff isn't always easy to access, and sometimes it's not worth having my local bike shop special order for me. So, oftentimes I turn to Amazon, as I'm sure many of you do, it is what it is. Here's a list of cycling goodies that I find useful, and some that I haven't purchased yet, but are on my list for when the budget allows. I think they're all worth sharing, they can make great gifts, and they're just one click away on Amazon. First off, if you're in a hurry and don't even want to take the time to watch this video, it's all good. You can go directly to my Dirty Teeth Amazon store, where I've curated everything that I use and test and vouch for all in one place. It's neatly sorted into categories, so you're bound to find some gems for yourself and spark some gift ideas. Next up is an Apple AirTag. No, it won't keep your bike from getting stolen, but you can get alerted if it's on the move. It can also come in handy for airline travel, in case your prized possession gets lost in transit. Since it relies on a combination of Bluetooth, Find My iPhone, and location services, it's not much use if you're out somewhere remote and there's not anybody around. But it definitely can be useful in urban areas and when you're passing through cities while bikepacking. It's light, it's tiny, it can be packed anywhere, and there's a bunch of bike-specific AirTag holders out there as well. How about a good book? Lying on your couch and reading can become a great motivator to get out and ride your bike. Whether you prefer physical paper books or digital books on your Kindle or even audiobooks, there's a lot of great cycling content out there for every genre and interest. I personally enjoy reading bikepacking adventures and guides on routes I'm considering. Whatever your flavor, I've got some great recommendations at my Amazon store. And of course, they all make great gifts, especially if you've procrastinated, you can download a book on Kindle and it delivers like that. How about a bike scale? Not necessary for everyone, but I enjoy having two scales. A small one for when I'm going weight weenie on components and bikepacking gear, and a larger one for when I'm curious about the weight of complete bikes. I have these trusty ones from Park Tool, but there are more budget-friendly options on Amazon. Sometimes I'm too lazy to grab my nice scale, so I'll just grab my wife's food scale from the kitchen. It works great, and it's much cheaper because it's not Park Tool Blue. You can also get much cheaper versions of this heavy duty scale, I'll put links to both of them in the description. Screen protectors. Yep, just like for a smartphone, anybody using a cycling computer or a head unit should protect their investment. I've learned the hard way by scratching and mucking up GPS units to the point where you can barely read anything. I currently have a Garmin Edge 540 and these fit it perfectly. They're also available for pretty much all brands and models. Also, if you're prone to dropping and damaging or breaking yours, consider grabbing a silicone soft edge case as well. I'm gonna switch gears and go over three of my favorite tools that live in my grab and go tool bag. P.S. I've got a whole video dedicated to the contents of my grab and go tool bag, so if that's something you want to watch, link in the description. This is a mini hammer made by Pedro's. It's lightweight, compact, and has a comfy grip. When you need a hammer or mallet, it gets the job done. I like it because it has a replaceable plastic face on one side and a steel head on the other. I've got a quick question. What do you use to cut zip ties? Over the years, I've used nail clippers, side cutters, diagonal pliers, twisted them off with a multi-tool, and then sanded or melted the sharp leftovers. I've also sliced my hands way too many times on poor zip tie cutting jobs on bikes that have come through my shop. Never again, I've now been a zip tie cutting snob for many years. I've been using this high quality Park ZP5 flush cutter. It gets into tight spaces and leaves a perfectly smooth flush cut with no jagged edges to slice and dice you. As my daughter would say, so satisfying. Another tool that gets a ton of use is this Park Torque Driver. I do have real torque wrenches which definitely serve their purpose, but this guy is my go-to for seat post clamps, cockpit, and rotor bolts. It's adjustable between four and six newton meters. It also comes with three, four, and five millimeter Allen bits and a T25. And it's super easy to swap them by just popping them in and out. The bits you're not using, stash away in the handle so you don't lose them. I'm a good judge of perceived torque, but I still like to take the guesswork out of the equation whenever possible, especially when I'm dealing with carbon components and titanium bolts. Next up is hydration powder. On longer, harder training rides and efforts, I've been consuming more and more of my calories in liquid form. I'm assuming some of you do the same, to get the most out of your workouts and stay fueled properly, or at least to keep from bonking and cramping. 
A couple of my favorite powders with subtle tasty flavors are Tailwind and Guroctane. Both contain a nice blend of carbs and electrolyte replacement, and some flavors offer caffeine if you need an extra jolt. I'm including the next four items based on feedback I've heard from reliable sources in my circle. I currently have them in my cart waiting for the right time to pull the trigger. Shox Open Run Pro Bone Conducting Headphones. I'm looking forward to trying these out for two reasons. Number one, earbuds get annoying after a while. Number two, I'd prefer open ear listening for safety concerns and awareness of sounds around me. They only weigh 29 grams and the battery lasts up to 10 hours, which is plenty for me. Sometimes while bikepacking, ditching headphones all together and using a speaker is just more fun. Especially when you're by yourself in bear country or you just wanna rock out at night. I've heard great reviews of the JBL Clip 4 speaker. It streams Bluetooth directly through your phone. And it has a built-in carabiner clip for versatile attachment options on your bike. It also has a 10 hour battery life and it's waterproof. I think it could be fun. It's not always just about startling bears on the trail. Sometimes it's important to know when automobiles are dangerously approaching us. A close friend, Jay Peterberry, was recently smashed from behind on a wide open gravel road in Colorado. Luckily, he's alive and not paralyzed and is on the road to recovery. But it's a heartfelt reminder of the threats we face as cyclists. Because of this, I have the Garmin Varia RTL 515 on my list. RTL stands for Radar Tail Light. It's basically a red blinky light with radar capabilities. It pairs with a Garmin head unit or a smartphone to warn you when vehicles are approaching. There's also an upgraded version with a built-in camera. This could be great if you're doing a lot of commuting or city driving and a driver slights you or does something illegal, you've got some evidence to offer the police. Either way, I'm gonna get one for a little peace of mind on gravel rides. Okay, let's say you're still tuned into this video and nothing so far has tickled your fancy. You've perused through my Amazon shop and still no dice. As a reminder, there's always gift cards. And if a gift card to your local bike shop or quaint coffee shop is out of the question, there is always the option of digital e-cards online. Especially for you procrastinators out there, raise your hands. Often they can be digitally downloaded and printed right away. They're available from Amazon and zillions of other internet shops as well. So whether you're giving to somebody that already has everything or somebody wants to give you a present and you already have everything, sometimes a simple gift card is simply the best way to go. That brings us to the end. I sincerely hope you found some merit here. If so, please like, share, and subscribe and chime into the conversation in the comments down below. If you're already subscribed and you're enjoying our content, I hope you'll consider becoming a supporting channel member. You'll gain access to members only videos and other perks, and it gives me a fighting chance to keep content coming your way. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.